it's Chantel J and welcome back to my channel today we're gonna do a video on a half weave let me start by thanking my clients for always letting me record them now as you can clearly see my client has some thinning areas in the top and on her sides this is my first time doing her hair, so I am going to recommend a protective style for the top of her hair. Now I'm going to give her a halo relaxer, which is putting the relaxer around the sides of her hair and a little bit around the front of her hairline so that when I do put the weave in the top, it blends in with the sides and the rest of her hair. Once I washed her hair out with neutralizing shampoo and a moisturizing shampoo, now I'm going to put color around her sides. We're using a natural black so it can blend in with her hair extensions that I'm going to put in the top. I didn't put any chemical in the top, nor am I putting any of this color in the top of her hair, since the top will be weaved up. Now I'm going to put a plastic cap on her head and let it sit for 25 minutes. So when she came out the dryer, I blow dried her hair and I braided it in a circle. And now I'm going to put a net on top so that I can safely weave her hair wherever I want to weave it to give her the fullness that her hair needs. A protective style like this will allow her hair to grow properly while maintaining the same look that she normally wears. As I said earlier, this is her first time coming to me for services and my best advice for her was to put a protective style so that her hair can grow before we start applying heat to hair that's already not doing so well. Now, if you're a stylist watching this video, you always want to recommend your client the best service for her hair and for what's going on with her hair. If you're a client watching this, you always want to check your options before you resort to putting a chemical back in your hair if it's already not doing so well. Now the reason I use a net in the top is so that I don't have to put so much pressure on her hair. Now I am stitching the hair and the needle through her braids, but not every single track is going to be on her braids. The net allows me to weave inside the wefts of the net as well. Now when I'm done with her hair, it's going to be full. I could have split these tracks to make it a little thinner, but I didn't. Next time I probably will because her hair was really full. She loved it, I loved it, but as I'm looking at it again, I'm saying I could have split some of those tracks. Now I'm going to start cutting her hair, but I'm going to cut the back of her hair first because it is long and it's not going to blend in with the hairstyle if I don't trim it down. So I'm going to trim some of her hair off in the back and blend it in with the weave. She doesn't want too much taken off because she want a hairstyle that can just wrap and go. She doesn't want to have to curl it. Once the curls drop, she want to be able to wrap it, get up in the morning and comb it down. Now I use three cutting tools for this haircut, not counting my clippers. So I use one scissor for her hair. Then I use a different scissor to cut the extensions because I don't want to use my good sharp shears to cut extensions because I don't want them to get dull. And I also used a razor to razor some of the hair off the sides and in the front. 
And when I got to the back, I used the clippers to blend in the back of her hairline. You don't want to use your good sharp shears to cut extensions. You should have a separate set of shears for cutting extensions and a separate set of shears for cutting the client's hair. Now, as you saw at the beginning, her sides were very short. So when I got to the sides, there wasn't really much to cut or much to blend in. So I just left that alone and I left the extensions a little heavy on the sides so that it doesn't show how short her sides are. Raise ran around the front so it's not so heavy and it has a soft look. So that if the curls do drop, it still looks good. When I'm done cutting, she's going to have to be molded and put under the dryer for about 45 minutes so I can proceed with her style. Love my Dudley's products. I'm using styling foam so that I can mold her down. I'm going to put a wrap strip around her hair, put it under the dryer one more time so that her hair is molded and it's laid nice. So we're wasting no time today. Her hair is already dry. She's out the dryer. You can see how nice this styling foam has her hair. You can see how well the cut is blending in. I'm going to do a few more minor cuts around the sides and the top just to blend it in. Then I'm going to curl it and she's going to be done. I'm just making it a little neater on the sides. I'm not taking it too low because there's nothing on the sides to blend it in with because the sides were very short. So I'm using two flat irons. I'm using my one inch flat iron and my two inch flat iron. To maintain the style, she can pin curl the top or she can just wrap it and comb it back down. It's a very easy hairdo, very simple style and this will last her about a month and a half. We use number one hair from Janet Collection. And this is the Remy quality and it costs about 14 to 15 dollars. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Make sure you subscribe, like and share my videos.